so yes I'm in a hospital room yes I have a roommate yes I'm a hot mess have been and here's what happened so on Friday I had my gastric bypass Sunday I was supposed to be released and sent home Sunday morning at 3 a.m. my heart went into AFib woke me out of a dead sleep I then uh, was transferred after they worked on me for a little bit to get my sinus rhythm back they transferred me to the cardiac unit and um, I stayed there overnight and then Monday they went ahead and released me stayed in a hotel with Ben um, so that we could take our drive home Tuesday Tuesday morning woke up tried to do some things as far as helping pack and stuff and I just kept losing my breath and sweating and just going through I don't know it wasn't pleasant and we started our drive home I got to about two and a half hours into the trip when I started to feel nauseous and was having cold sweats and shaking um, and I could feel my heart palpitating again so I was very concerned that I might be going into AFib again um, and the night before I had bought a new monitor for a blood pressure cuff and it kept telling me my pulse was like 128, 136. I'm like, this can't be working right. Um, and so Ben and I decided to head home a different direction, which allowed us to have access to ambulances or hospitals if I needed it. Because um, typically our ride home is pretty desolate um, if we choose the way that we normally go. We got to about an hour and a half, hour 45 minutes away from our house, and we were in our neighbor, one of our neighboring towns, and he stopped at a gas station. I went in to go pee. I came out, and I couldn't breathe. I was just having such a hard time catching my breath, um, sweating. Again, my heart was just pounding. So we decided to take me to this hospital which is associated with the hospital I was in before, just not in the same location. Um, and I got here yesterday. Today, they are thinking that I, well, one, they know I'm dehydrated. Um, they said I had a UTI, didn't feel it, but whatever. They put, gave me some antibiotics for it. Um, my heart was not in AFib, but it was in tachycardia, um, which is a high constant pulse rate heartbeat. Um, and that's what was giving me the sweats and stuff. And then my blood pressure, anytime I moved, my blood pressure would drop. Um, so they admitted me. Um, I had gone into the ER for that. So they admitted me and I'm here in the hospital and they're thinking that I could potentially be going through some withdrawals of medicines that they stopped me on when I was um, after my surgery that I was on for like eight years. Um, some of those symptoms are, are um, I'm not, I, I can't think of the word. Um, they make sense for going through a detox. Um, but the heart rate and the low blood pressure when exertion on standing up exertion um, is still concerning to them. So they're gonna try putting me back on my regular medicine that I had before, um, try to get my body back in the swing. Um, and so I don't know if they're letting me go until that's all, well, they're not gonna let me go until that's all figured out. Um, Um, so I am taking it easy. Um, I'm on, what is 
Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, day six in the hospital when I should have been home three days ago. So, and I look, I'm a hot mess. I took a bath, but you couldn't even tell. I mean, I'm flush and my complexion is ridiculous and my hair, but I am not saying sorry for it because it is what it is. So, I just wanted to update you guys since I just uploaded the surgery video, um, but didn't want to forget the aftermath. Um, so, here I am, and hopefully I'll be going home someday. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for your support and all of the comments and all of the prayers and messages that I've gotten. And it, You guys have just been outpouring, and I just adore you all so I appreciate it thank you so so much and I will see you next time maybe I'll have a different update <laughs>